Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have Hey yo man, we got Azalea Banks on the baby, man. But yeah, I'm tired of talking about it too. 42 Doug following your boys Lee. Lil Baby on what he learned about getting arrested overseas. Cardi B <laughs> with the sign language interpreter for WAP. <laughs> Wait till you see that. And the beast catching up with T.I. Yo, man, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to your channel, man, you know what it does. Be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content. It helps your boy out, man. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be first on deck when we drop the insanity because the insanity is definitely gonna drop and be sure to hit that uh subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel you'll check this out man uh look i'm tired of giving you news on the baby right you know what i'm saying it just keeps coming though you see what i'm saying now they're saying right that that they as in billboard is reporting that the baby offered to send Lollapalooza a, a special video apology which was to be played during his set if they would keep him on they gave him a deadline and he missed the deadline <laughs> Lala Palooza was like get the F out of here with your late video apology your special late video apology which would have been wild if he if, if he did it on the set because that means he'd have been standing right there and they would have had a video play in the background then he would have performed and everybody would have been like why didn't he just say it himself out of his own mouth come on you know why Look, upon seeing all this, right, the screen door opened up and out came Azalea Banks. <laughs> You're like, oh, no. Oh, yes. Right. She came out and um, had some strong words. She said, quote, y'all should have been canceled the baby when he was caught on camera punching a female fan in the face. Close quote. <laughs> a lot of people are like, ah, but what's a punch? I mean, you can recover from that. But what he said was irreparable. Anyway, she added, quote, I'm not believing any of this performative canceling people are doing now when everyone was so quick to forget that happened. Apology or not, keep him canceled, close quote. <laughs> Yo, I think in that story, right, he hit a woman uh, that tried to take a picture of him. And after being booed, he said, she hit me first. <laughs> Look, blame the people that pay for this. I right? blame them, okay? Don't be coming and looking at me, all right? Yo, we reported to you, right, a few days ago that 42 Doug damn near lost his mind when he was kissing his son the other day on social media and folks threatened to call CPS on him because it was nasty. His response was uh, relatively hyper-emotional, to say the least, when he said all kinds of slurs that would make a multi-canceled rapper blush with shame. <laughs> you like, are you talking about? Yes, yes. Anyway, 42 Doug cooled off a bit and posted, quote, it never be my intentions to offend anybody, even when I'm offended. So for that, I'm sorry. Usually, I'm a very private person when it comes to personal ish, such as my son or my family in general. People always tell me I need to take more pictures or, you know, let my fans see something about me other than music. Yesterday, that is a few days ago, I called myself doing that. My son's birthday was the weekend, so I decided I would let y'all see how much fun we had. <laughs> Although his son didn't look like he was having much fun. But, I mean, we only saw the little piece. Anyway, look, he continued on and said, you know, the picture, the videos I posted of my son wasn't put out for feedback. That was just us being us. That means this happens all the time. So for y'all to take that and make it what y'all did just reminded me of why I keep my family private. Close quote. Yo, I feel what he's saying, man. Real talk, okay? What bugs me out is a lot of the celebrities that we think we like, they might actually be jerks in real life. You follow what I'm saying, man? That we would never want to be around. While some who you think you can't stand, you would probably actually like. All that to say, like, people have online personas, man. You know what I mean? If they make music then and you fall in love with their music, then you're in love with their music. That might not necessarily be what they are actually like. Now, your boy Celeb is this 25-7, son. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why the content is consistent. <laughs> you like 24-7, son. No, 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 no. 25-7. See, time slows down when you're in my presence. <laughs> you like, what the hell is the next story? Pause on the next story because we got to do our shout out. You know I love the people that be coming through. Yo, check this out. Shout out to uh, who, who, Chris Ingebrigtsen, man, once again. My man said, um, 
yo, man, whenever whenever he listens, you know what I'm saying? He gets that extra energy right before going to physiotherapy, man. We give him energy. We energize him. Yo, that's what's up, man. Salute to you, big dog. Okay? Malcolm Hugo came through and said, yo, his apology should have only been to those born with scoliosis. He's talking about me yesterday because I gave a shout out to everybody that's not hunchback. So you know the hunchbacks came for me. You see what I'm saying? So his apology should have only been to those born with scoliosis, not the people that couldn't be bothered to sit properly and ignored every parent and teacher who told them not to slouch. They wanted a hunchback. Hey, yo, look, man, I, I want to issue an apology for all the, to all those that have hunchbacks. Um, it wasn't my intention to offend y'all when I made the statement that I made yesterday. Uh, please accept my um, apology. I, I plan on having a hunchback on the show um, in the upcoming days. Um, your fine behind auntie said, cancel Lollapalooza. Don't support Lollapalooza. Look, I really just wanted to say your fine behind auntie. <laughs> you like... Yo, I don't even really want to think about it like that. Yo, man, it's just what it is, okay? Um, somebody said, nobody in this day and age needs to be throwing up any hand signs except the hearing impaired. Now, he's talking about the whole situation that, that took place with, um, what you gonna call it, uh, uh, Lil Dirk when he jumped into the crowd because somebody was throwing up the GD signs or something like that. You see what I'm saying? Speaking of um, throwing up signs, look, Cardi B has an interpreter, right? Who interpreted the lyrics for WAP at Lollapalooza, right? So sick of saying that word. They had to interpret the verse, quote, this is WAP verse, okay? Coochie A1, just like his credit. He got a bid, well, I'm trying to wet it. I let him taste it. Now he a diabetic. Diabetes, is that sweet or salty? Whatever, look. I, 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 I think I'm thinking about high blood pressure. Anyway, she continued on and said, I don't want to spit. I want to gulp, I want to gag, I want to choke, I want you to touch that little dangly thing that's swinging the back of my throat. Ain't that like your urethra or something like that? Or vulva? Whatever, I don't know. Uh, one, um, my head game is fire, is what she says. Panani Dasani is going in dry and is coming out soggy. My gosh, right? <laughs> Close quote. My goodness. Look, I got to readjust in my seat just for that. Look, this is coming from a woman that said she doesn't like the title wet and gushy because gushy sounds nasty. Anyway, take a look at this phenomenon of a sign language interpreter doing that verse. Take a look. Wasn't that a lot? That's a lot, ain't it? You didn't even know that that was a thing. Don't, don't, don't lie. You didn't know it was a thing. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. Listen, a lot of people like, <laughs> if you can't hear, then why would you go to a music concert? Hey, look, man, deaf people like to party too, fam. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes they'll party to death. <laughs> you like your celeb. You're not a comedian. Whatever, man. Look. If you didn't find that funny, put your cell phone lighters in the air, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everyone else chuckling while breathing out. Cancel them. You know what I'm saying? I right, look, look, look. Um, cause I gotta finish this up. Look, you ever notice when you're looking uh, at the street on a sunny day? Like on the street, uh, on a sunny day, right? It sparkles. When you look at the sky, there's mad squiggly lines in your vision. I, I know you think I'm high, but hear me out, right? You, you could have a real nice car, right? But drive yourself crazy with the payments. See, everything is about perception, how you see things. Lil Baby got arrested in France, right? I almost said mistake number one. The hell you doing in France, okay? But he's an international star, ain't he? So anyway, look, last week he was arrested on possession. I think it was last week, maybe two weeks ago, whatever. He was arrested on possession of marijuana charges or something like that. And Lil Baby stated, quote, the whole Paris experience, let me know, I gotta get bigger overseas. Close quote. That's what it lets you know, fam. He continued on and said, I got to get big overseas, not saying to not go to jail for breaking the law, but for police to know who I am. Close quote. Here's the thing, right? I'm afraid, and, and maybe it's because of how things are over here, but I'm afraid if they know who you are, sometimes they're more inclined to be bothersome, man. Are you following what I'm saying? In case you didn't know, back in 2013, Oprah, there's only one Oprah, went into a fancy store without her entourage and asked 
to see a handbag that was secured behind a screen. The saleswoman said, nope, it's too expensive. Look at these bags instead. Oprah asked to see the Tom Ford Crocskin bag again. But the saleswoman was like, no. Instead, she tried to direct her to other bags that she imagined would be in Oprah's price range. $3 billion Oprah asked to see the bag a third time. That's two times too many, right? The saleswoman wasn't trying to have all that, right? Apparently trying to protect Oprah from being emotionally crushed by the price tag, right? She said she didn't want to hurt O's feelings and refused again. Oprah and her $3 billion left the store without buying anything. Swiss tourism office apologized to Oprah. <laughs> You're like, what's your point? How the hell you missed my point, man? When we was talking about little baby, talking about he want to be bigger. They did that to Oprah. I got to explain this, man. Anyway, and finally, hey, look, man, T.I. was arrested in Europe. <laughs> You're like, they finally got him. Settle down, okay? It's not what you think. Take a look at this. Uh, I'm obviously not supposed to have my phone as I'm biking. And I, and because the policeman ran into me and broke his uh, rear view, you know. Don't you have and? Huh? They gonna take it? Yes, I'm getting it right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it from him right now. Uh, and because they don't, I didn't have my passport on me. I don't know. It'll be fine. You know, I, I think I'm gonna get arrested in Europe. J just to ex fully experience all that the culture has to offer. Look, I don't even want to put that energy out there like that, man. I take that back. If I, if I could put it out there, I could take it back. He was driving without his passport, uh, riding his bike without his passport, broke the side mirror of the beast, and they invited him in to the police car. Sir, sir, please uh, join us in the back of, uh, how you say, police car. Why, why, thank you, good sir. I was wondering when you were going to fit me in your schedule for today. Anyway, let us know what you think. Are, are you dying to be arrested in Europe? Um, if Lil Baby got bigger, do you think that authorities in other countries would respect him differently? Yo, did you know about the whole sign language thing? Never mind all of that, okay? Um... Never mind all that. We got a battle to get to. So check this out real quick. We're going to play two videos, right? This is going to be video number three and four. The first video, if you like that more, you're going to put three in the comment section. If you like the second video more, you're going to put a four in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the comment section. You, you see what I'm saying? You're like, where your speech teacher at? Yo, man, school's just starting, fam, okay? Give me a second. Anyway, let me play uh, the first video real quick. Um, this is, uh, what's the name? I don't remember the name. Yo, listen to this video, and then we're going to see what happens. This bank road. Raw shit, no gimmicks. That's right, yo. Them boys is holding down Barbados. And yo, I love the grittiness of the whole thing. You know I love it raw, man. You see what I'm saying? Um, you like, yo, man, really? Check out the second video real quick. This is video number four. Check this out. That's right, your celeb source is hitting you with the ill promos of the hot tracks right there. Yo, if you prefer the first song, man, put a three in the comment section. If you prefer the second song, put a four in the comment section. You know I can't vote, but you know if I did vote, you know what I would have voted for, right? Some of y'all already know, man. You see what I'm saying? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for Celeb News.